A 13 year old facing manslaughter charges tonight after that deadly and fiery crash that killed one person and left 10 people hurt. Thanks for joining us at 5 o'clock. I'm Curtis May. And I'm Marley Ginter. Woodland Police tell CBS 13 the boy was on a joyride after he stole his family's vehicle. CBS 13's Tori Apodaca joins us live from that crash scene, getting answers on whether the teen's parents could be held responsible. Tori. Yeah, police say that 13 year old driver was erratically driving on this street here. You can see it's a narrow road, two lanes, just 25 mile per hour speed limit. But police say he was zooming through this area and then crashed into two other cars at that intersection of College and Court Street, where we now see a growing memorial for one of the crash victims, Tina Vital. And the community is wanting answers for what will happen to that 13 year old driver who was behind. The wheel. They're young. They don't know. They're impressionable. They think it's fun. They think it's a game. They think it's okay. What they don't realize is that they could take a person's life and ruin a family in a matter of seconds. That's hard. A community grieving after a fiery three car crash killed mother and grandmother Tina Vital. We never know if we got a minute, an hour, or another day. We never know when our time's coming. A 13 year old boy is now facing charges of vehicular manslaughter after police say he stole his family member's car and took it out for a joy ride. Under 14, you cannot be charged as an adult. It doesn't matter what the crime is. I sat down with local attorney Mark Reichel, getting answers about the consequences the boy will be facing. There's a lack of science that shows incarcerating a 13 year old is going to do anything other than, you know, keep him away from us. The focus will be on rehabilitation. He believes the longest sentencing the boy will face is until he turns 21, and the shortest, two years in youth authority. This is something that's going to be really difficult to see. Multiple people in Woodland tell us this isn't the first time the boy has taken his family's car out for a spin. Where were his parents? Why didn't they know what was going on with him? Why weren't they paying attention? When it comes to parents and their responsibility, could they also be facing any charges? Probably not. I mean, they're obviously going to face civil consequences in a civil suit. Since the suspect is a minor, Woodland PD could not tell us about his record, but say they are investigating these reports about his past behavior. When I pray for Tina and her family, I pray for him and his family as well, because it's a loss all the way around. Hopefully that 13-year-old learns a lesson of what he did and how it can be tragedy to a lot of people. And Woodland PD is also looking into if this could have been a social media challenge. But right now, this community, just a lot of heavy hearts as they're still processing that this happened so close to home. It is also troubling. Our Tory, thank you.